Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashish and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, about stream turbines. Uh, I hope you will be aware about it. The people who works on uh, mostly on uh, stream turbines or uh, even this video will be helpful for those who are just beginner and uh, they want to uh, get this knowledge, college going students kindly go through with this video so that you will learn the basic things about steam turbines so basically in industries we use two type of steam turbines so basically we can say there are two categories what are those categories one is extraction steam turbine and non condensing steam turbine which also known as back pressure steam turbine and both of these steam turbines <coughs> have their own operating schemes and benefits so in this picture here you can see uh, let me take a laser pointer so here you can see this is extraction steam turbine design <coughs> so what happens here in this the this turbine basically contains two outlets here you can see the steam comes in but steam goes out from two ways one is going to the condenser and one is going to the process so steam is coming inside it is rotating the blades turbine is rotating so one one uh, one outlet it will connect with the condenser another outlet will be the extraction low pressure steam to the process so this type of design this type of category of the steam turbine called as extraction steam turbine so remember you will have one in and two out <coughs> so what happens the first outlet extracts the steam with intermediate pressure for the feeding of the heating process while the second outlet extracts the remaining stream with low pressure steam for the condensation the extraction of heat from the first outlet can be stopped to generate more output steam control valves at this outlet make this steam very flexible and allow adjusting the output as per demand the steam from the second outlet outlet goes to the condenser chamber where cooling water brings the temperature of the steam down the condenser water here this condenser water then goes back to the boiler for the regeneration of the electricity of power therefore it also known as the regenerative steam turbines so and there are some uh, advantages of this design if a customer buy this type of extraction turbine then what are the advantages so basically this type of turbine uh, can be used to generate the power <coughs> high amount of electricity and it is a flexible turbine so you can see what happens uh, in this extraction turbine if you don't want power then and you want more extraction then you can take more extraction by sacrificing the power so you have both option you can take full power or if you want maximum extraction you can take maximum extraction but the power will be re reduced because extraction is kind of extracting the power from the turbine so there is a steam map uh, oem uh, they give the steam map and it works according to that so these are bit uh, uh, critical uh, turbines and the logic is also bit uh, uh, complicated compared to the known extraction turbine <coughs> so uh, now we will see another design so another category is back process steam turbine so you can see the major difference high steam pressure steam is coming here and you have only one out from here from here 
so here you can see here in extraction stream turbine the steam comes uh, one outlet going to condenser another going to the process but in back uh, process steam turbine what is happening you can see only low pressure steam to process so the uh, non condensing steam turbine uses high pressure steam for the rotation of the blades this steam then leaves the turbine at the atmospheric pressure the pressure of the outlet steam depends on in the load therefore this turbine is also known as back pressure steam turbine this low pressure stream uses for processing and no steam is used for condensation so you can see no steam used for condensation here is here in extraction turbine you were seeing a condenser also so this is a back pressure turbine you can say back pressure so this make schematic diagram of the back process steam turbine with co generation system is shown here so but there are lot of benefits also and a few disadvantages also of this design so the advantage basically it is bit inexpensive not so costly compared to this this is bit costly turbine this type of turbines are very costly these are very cheap turbines you can get it very easily also and also uh, it requires very less or no cooling water because it directly you know it goes to the process you know uh, equipment is uh, required is also very less but for this type of uh, classified turbines you need lot of equipments you know so the steam is going to the process then its condenser so whole process is connected with this type of classified turbines but here it's the design is simple so less equipment so it means you know you are saving the money and uh, yeah and also the efficiency of this turbine is higher as it does not reject heat in the condensation process so the efficiency is very higher compared to this turbine very high efficiency because it does not reject heat in the condensation uh, uh, condensation process so what are the disadvantages of this turbine the biggest disadvantage of this turbine type of steam turbine is that it is highly inflexible the output of this turbine can't be reg regulate as it does not allow changing the pressure and temperature of the steam in the turbine so whatever steam is coming directly is going so there is no wall you know nothing you can't regulate it you can't control it so that is the one of the major disadvantages the thermal load of this turbine defines the flow of steam mass which make it difficult to change the output wall other methods to regulate output reduce the efficiency of the overall system so these are the also one of the major disadvantages also we have few disadvantages of this extraction steam turbine so basically uh, i said you uh, just before that this is very costly because you have lot of option it steam goes to condenser you can again you know utilize this steam and you can uh, from another path from another outlet you can use this steam to the process it makes you know uh, suppose you buy a mobile you know uh, with lot of functions you know or you buy a old type of mobile so it makes uh, uh, a very big difference so same like that you know you are choosing a turbine but uh, obviously you have to choose as per your plan design your requirement so another disadvantage is also heat rejection in the condensation process it is usually used on industrial level and requires complex configuration so basically its use is in main industrial level you know in big big plants where you know you need steam for the process also so it uh, it is a complex design so these are the disadvantages so but you have to choose as per your plant design so these are the two categories i have explained in this video 
one is extraction uh, steam turbine and another is back process steam turbine so now i think you will be aware there are two type of turbines steam turbines we can classify back process steam turbine and extraction steam turbine so what are the major major difference major difference it's in design here you can see two outlet but here you can see one outlet this turbine also called as back process steam turbine and this is extraction steam turbine and also for this you need a governor which should have this extraction logic so your governor functionality here you can just take a governor which can control only one volt okay but here you will have to buy a governor which can control extraction also with the hp volt so more money because you are again spending extra money on the governor so for today that's all thanks for watching my video and uh, please try to uh, subscribe my channel and uh, like the video thanks very much